Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize rematch to improve your FPS, fix lags, stutter and input latency, applying the best windows and in-game settings. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to be helping you optimize your game and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here, come down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. This is an overlay service by Xbox and disabling that will help you to optimize your PC and save your system's resources. Then come back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. In most cases, it will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, improving your FPS. Then click on the graphics button underneath and then enable optimizations for windowed games and this will help you to reduce input latency. And then click on advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling since it is going to help you a lot to utilize your hardware graphic card and not your CPU based graphics. After that, click on the add desktop app button over here and then go to the download location of your game. If you guys are unaware of it, you can simply go to your steam and check out where you have installed it double click to open up your folder and do not add this runtime client.exe head over to runtime Binaries, Win64 and there you will find Runtime Client Win64Shipping.exe. Click on the Add button and then come down to find it. Once you find it, simply click on that and then for the GPU preference, select High Performance and enable optimizations for windowed games. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is Compatibility Settings and for that, head over to Steam. You wanna have to right click on your game and then click on Manage. Then you have to click on Browse Local Files. Over here, come down to Runtime, Binaries, Win64 and right click on your Win64Shipping.exe. Head over to its properties and then click on Compatibility. Over here, you have to click on Disable Full Screen Optimization. Then click on Change High DPI Settings and select this option. Click on OK and then click on Apply over here and this will help you to get rid of unwanted input latency. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point and then under the system protection look for a local disk C and then click on create name it rematch just so you can remember it and press enter I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your game settings back to normal without any kind of data loss once this is done simply click on close and close system properties next step is the rematch FPS pack I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys can simply download it from there because this is really important double click to open it up and you'll find in six very useful folders the first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. You need to apply it according to your processor by simply double click on them. It will help you to set up the correct DWORD value for your processor and improve its performance drastically. Second one is RAM optimization which does the same thing but for your RAM. I have left a ton of presets according to your PC right over here as well. You guys can apply the RAM preset that is closest to your RAM. I have 32 GB so I need to apply this one. In case of any kind of issues that you're going to be facing, use reset to default registry over here and that you and that should reset all of that back again. Third one is rematch priority in which I have left these three files, high priority and above normal priority which will help you to optimize your game. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose. Next is disable unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless and disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. Simply double click and disable every single one of these registries and in case you use any Bluetooth or printer services, just skip them. And if you want to revert any of them back again, head over to the revert registries folder and re-enable them back again. Next folder is input delay improvements in which I have left keyboard latency and mouse latency fixes. First, head over to keyboard latency fix and leave your keyboard model name down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to apply right over here. And second one is mouse latency registry in which I have left a fixed mouse curve which helps you to set up the correct sensitivity as well as X and Y curves and these are the settings inspired by pros. Once that is done, simply head back to the last folder which is programs in which I have left clean temporary files bat. You wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. This will simply ask you to clean all temporary files on a PC, press enter and it will start deleting them. It is completely safe to do that and I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0, simply right click and run it as administrator. Once it opens up, you have to look for your graphic card in this list and then click on the MSI button next to it. For the inter priority, select high and then click on apply. This will help you to set up the correct interrupt priority for your graphic card and allow it to handle more interrupts and that is how you're going to be increasing the performance of your GPU. Once it is done, close it. Next is Unpark CPU, you're going to have to right click and run it as administrator. 
This thing helps you to unpark your CPU cores. Windows by default has a tendency to park the cores which are no longer in use and this fixes that issue. Set your system power plan to ultimate performance or high performance in this list and then click on set as active. For the core parking index, slide it all the way up to 100% and then click on apply. This will help you to ensure all of your CPU cores are up and running and you're getting the maximum performance out of it. Once that is done, simply close the FPS pack. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications and for that simply search for group policy editor in this list. Press enter and note that this step will only be available for Windows Pro users. Once you are here, double click on computer configuration, then administrative templates, then windows components, then app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Double click to open it up and ensure that this is set to enabled. After that, click on default for all applications and set this thing to force deny. This will apply a policy to deny all of the applications running in the background and this this will help you to optimize the performance of your PC by a ton. Simply close it. Next step is MS Config and for that simply search for MS Config over here and open up system configuration. Then head over to the boot section and then click on no GUI boot. Then advanced options and then click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor you have on your PC. Click on OK and then click on apply and this will help you to optimize your booting and your system's performance in the long run. Then click on exit without restart. Next step is fixing all of your network issues, ping issues and latency issues using no ping because it is really important in this game. Simply download no ping for free from the link in the description below and open it up. You can see an interface like this where you can find over 1000 games to choose from. Simply search for rematch over here and select it. It will auto recommend you the servers using the AI which will offer you the lowest amount of ping. You can simply head over to buy country and then find the lowest server nearest to you. For me it would be in India, simply select the nearest region and then click on optimize the game. This will help you to one click boost the performance of your game and reduce your ping, packet loss and network issues. The best part about no ping is the boost FPS section over here wherein if you guys can enable all of these settings, you can also increase your FPS right within the app. I have used no ping for myself and I have found it really useful and you guys can go check out no ping for free from the link in the description below and see if that works for you. Once you're done applying all of these settings, you guys can now go into the game and apply the best in game settings. Okay, once you are in your game, press your escape key and then head over to options. Right over here, you have to come down to video settings and ensure that you are using the window mode to borderless window. This will allow you to use frame generation if that is available for your PC. For the resolution, go with your native monitor resolution and vSync should be turned off. Max FPS should also be set to off and gamma should be 2.2. For anti-aliasing method, use DLSS or FSR if that is available for your graphic card. Otherwise, you can use TAA. For super resolution, go with balanced or performance both of them works absolutely fine dlss frame generation should be turned off and motion blur should be turned off as well for the graphics quality go with custom where texture quality should be high shadow quality should be low effects quality should be low and view distance should be set to high grass quality disabled and crowd quality disabled then anti-aliasing quality i have gone with high and once you have applied all of these settings go back and now you guys can enjoy your game with the best performance and best fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers i trust you all and we'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out